Howdy folks, Andy Game was here and uh, this is Elite Dangerous and it's been a while since I had a look around at the generation ships. Uh, there's only been nine discovered up to now and three of them I haven't bothered going to so I thought I'd make a video of the three I haven't looked at yet. And here we go, here's Generation Ship Artemis. Coming nice there, nice rear end view of the Artemis Generation Ship. And straight away, we have two POIs on there. Ship log, and another ship log there. Okay, uh, I might as well do one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I'm not sure how many ships, ship logs, ships log there is on here. Uh, but at least we've uh, found three straight away off the bat. Quite similar to all the other generation ships, which I totally expected. But. Uh, it's the logs that count, really. So let's uh, have a look at this. Uh, better get me data link scanner going. Can't remember what the range was. It's been that long. There we go. I think the range was 250 meters. Yeah, so three or four, so we've already located, so I'll ignore them for now, I'm not going to listen to them, I'll, uh, I'll listen to them all at the same time. There's the other one, and they're all quite close, them two are close to each other. side so we'll go under the ship and around So it's 200 meters that you need to be in. Like I said, it's been that long since I've uh, looked for the generation ships. Totally forgot. Uh, here we'll go under, under here. Already in range of that one. Magnet scanner. And there's one more down there. That's just the generation ship POI. And that'll be the other one there. I don't think I've ever found them so easy. It's so quick. So, we'll uh, move back so we can get a full look at the uh, generation ship and uh, we'll have a listen to the logs. Yeah, 
there we are. Right, let's listen to the logs. I thought this would be a new start. I thought coming out here things would be different, but now after this I see that nothing has changed. People lie and other people just pay the cost. It seems like someone smuggled an illegal animal on board. A dog. They've been keeping it in one of the storage pods, stealing food for it from one of the kitchens. But it looks like that wasn't enough. By what we can piece together, the dog got out somehow and killed a bunch of people. I mean, a real mess. Bite and claw marks all over the bodies. Bite marks on the walls, on the doors, even on the airlocks. The only thing is, it was found exactly where they'd been keeping it all along. I mean, there wasn't a drop of blood on this thing. If you ask me, this dog didn't seem like the killing type. Well, that didn't stop them from destroying it. Well, I asked the captain to keep the case open, you know, to let me investigate, but no dice. He just saw it as open and shut. I can't shake the feeling that there's something we're missing here. Very interesting. Uh, dog egg. What sheep they are, these fools of man. How they prance and bleat, knowing nothing of the true nature of things. Blind sheep following blind shepherds. I have been sent as a wolf amongst this flock to teach them the meaning of their existence. They are nothing. Sacks of flesh flung out into the cosmos to spread their seed. Uncaring children ejected from an uncaring womb. Spreading like a disease, infecting all they touch. So soon, all will bleat as they do. They take only the choicest, this flock. Cast down those that will not follow their sightless herders to nothing. They prey on the weak for their own gains, while they preach about unity and togetherness. They shall be snatched. They shall be scattered. They shall be ravaged. Lunatic alert! Psychopath on the loose! Shepherds hunt, but see nothing. They scuttle and scurry and gather their precious flocks to them. But they cannot protect them. I have opened so many eyes to the ways of things, and still they do not see. I have opened them up to new ways to see what's inside. But they refuse to heed the lesson. What arrogance they show, as if this was all made for them. What gives this virus that is mankind the right to infect the cosmos? Yeah. Definitely not all there by the sound of him. I think he's got a bit of space madness. The sheep lay out their sacrifices. <laughs> They think that will sate the wolf's hunger. They do not see the wolf hunts not for hunger. They are blinded by the lies they tell themselves, the lies that tie the fabric of their tiny little world together. But the cord frays and will snap. The lesson must be repeated. Until the 
remain all silent. Interesting. Yeah, sounded a bit like uh, R2-T2 at the beginning of that, that message there. The sheep lay out their sacrifices. <laughs> yeah, bit of R2-D2. So, there's the uh, generation ship. Artemis. Yeah. Like you see, very similar to all the others. Uh, so nothing really different about it. Still many to be found. I think there's only nine being found. I'm sure there's only nine being found. Uh, uh, may stand corrected. So, uh, yeah. It's... Uh, get to the next one then and uh, see what that one brings up I know one thing not many of them have had any success in uh, reaching paradise <laughs> all seem to have come to a uh, an early demise and not so, not in such a nice way either uh, but yeah so let's uh, move on to the next uh, generation ship Okay, so here we are at Generation Ship Atlas. I'm just going to get a little bit closer before I disengage. Get within the one megameter. And there she is. Oh, came in very, very close there. Good job I wasn't... Uh, Coming in hot, because uh, that would have been quite uh, spectacular. A few fireworks. So, uh, that looks like a uh, POI, one of the data logs. Sure is. Let's see if we can find any others near the back here. There's one over there blinking. There's two found straight away. Have a quick look around, see if there's any others. Once again, slightly different layout, but roughly the same as most of the other generation ships. Yeah, link's gonna go on. I'll put in the description where these uh, generation ships are. Here, let's see how many there is. Five. Five to get. No brakes. Mm, that sounds ominous, doesn't it? Uh, sounds like the ship can't stop. There's that other one. just already scanned There's 
number one and three. That's going to be the one I've already scanned. Yeah, so it is. Right. Oh, one, three, and five. So we're now looking for two and four. Yeah, that's the generation ship POI. So let's look for the flashing beacons. Is that one down there? No. Looked similar. Okay, so there's one. As you can see, this is uh, located right near a neutron star. There's the neutron star. That looks great, that actually. I may have to partake in a photo opportunity with the, the neutron star behind the uh, generation ship. So let's get this uh, scan done. There it is. And we'll have one more to find. And there we have it. Uh, what number is that one? Number two. So now we're looking for number four. Where is number four? Come in, number four, where are you? Stranger, I can't see any beacons. Oh, what's that? Yeah. There we go. Well, that was a beacon when I looked. When I looked earlier, I thought it wasn't. But it turns out it was. I just went past it. See them blue lights and blue flashing lights are quite confusing. Easy enough to get mixed up with the beacons. Right down there. There it is. Oh, easy. Been a bit uh, overzealous on the thrust there, on the throttle. 
Come then. And that should be them all. Sure is, right. So, come out of here. Let's have a listen to what it's got to say. That will definitely make a good photo opportunity with that uh, ship there. Right. Uh, here we go. The captain told the crew the bad news. They've known for months now, but until today it's been on a need-to-know basis. Now it's out there. We can't stop the ship. I remember telling the captain about the fault, a manufacturing issue that no one else had detected. I felt responsible. After all, I'm the ship's engineer. Like my father and his father before him. All he said was, we'll fix it. Now months on, we're nearing our destination and no closer to finding a solution. But in lieu of a fix, I believe I have an alternative. Well. I wonder what his alternative is. After all the debates, all the meetings and the arguing, the ship's council has finally approved the plan. So we're all systems go. We're rigging the emergency pods and the life ships to carry as much useful equipment as possible. The command crew have made all the course adjustments they can to get the ship close to the target. After that, we'll launch all the pods as the ship passes by. With any luck, they will all land safely and we can finally call this mission a success. There's just one catch. Someone has to stay behind to launch the pods. That person will be stuck on board. One life for many seems like a good deal. Gene will think I'm crazy, but I volunteered to be that person. Funny, Gene's always telling me I need to step up to the challenge more to prove I have what it takes. I'm not sure this is what she had in mind. Brave guy. Sacrificing himself, uh... Everyone else. <clears throat> After weeks of preparation and drills, we're finally getting close. Only a few more days to launch. All adjustments have been made and our trajectory is looking good. I've been getting the engineers to double and triple check everything. I want this to go as smoothly as possible. We've had our teething problems, which I guess were to be expected. After all, this ship wasn't meant to do this without stopping. I'm getting nervous. This fails. There's another thing. Jean's pregnant. She doesn't know that I know. I found the test in the bathroom. With all that's happening, I guess she doesn't know how to tell me. Maybe she's afraid that it'll affect my judgment. She might have been right about that. I was going to tell her tonight that I'm the one, but I'm not sure if I can anymore. She'll want to stop me, or worse, she'll want to stay behind as well. I can't let that happen. Yeah. He's never going to see his baby. Oh, hell, 
Division of Bay 14, emergency. I repeat, this is an emergency. All remaining pods, begin launch. Tom, where are you? The, the, the pilot, is, he, he's saying he's going to leave without you. What's happening? Gee, we've got to go now! This is Chief Engineer Tom Edwards to the pilot of Life Ship 003. This is a direct order. Secure all passengers and launch now. Tom, the ship's leaving. Where are you? Gee, sweetheart, you have to listen to me. I'm sorry. It's the only way. I couldn't tell you before. Someone needs to stay on board and make sure everyone gets out of here. I, I don't... Why? Why you? It's my responsibility. Listen to me. You're gonna be okay, both of you. How? How did you know? It's not important. Just know everything is gonna be okay. I love you. Oh, bless. We're out of communication range now. I've been sitting here for hours. Listening to the crackle of the dead signal. Thought I was ready for this. Thought I had made peace with it. But knowing that that was the last time I was going to hear her voice makes it so much worse. The captain said they're going to name the first settlement after me. Nice gesture, I guess. But I really didn't do it for them. I did it for her, and the life she's carrying. This is the right thing to do. There's no telling when or if this ship will ever stop. We had our shot, and we took it. I'd gladly do it again. My kid's not gonna grow up in some tin can, floating aimlessly in space. They're gonna grow up with dirt between their toes and a sky above their head. Yeah, cool. Cool. The, the thing I always find annoying is you get no sort of clue as to where the pods jettisoned from. Uh, you've just got to track where you are and check what systems are between Sol and the current location and then visit each and every one of them locations which well the size of this game is probably hundreds if not thousands of locations so it's a big task to find what may be the planet they landed on and <laughs> If it's a habitable planet, you can't land on it anyway, so you'll never find them. Uh, but hey, who knows what the future brings. Uh, we shall see. Anyway, on to the next uh, generation ship. Right, so here we are at the next uh, generation ship, the uh, Lazarus. <coughs> and there she is. So, I can already see one data log. The one at the front now. No, there isn't another one at the front, so... We'll get him behind this uh, dish, massive satellite dish. But the signal for uh, Sky Sports is pretty good on this. Let's uh, get up close and personal and have a scan. So 
how many there is. Only four. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can find any others. on that. That'll be the, uh, yep, the generation ship POI. Let's uh, get closer to this one. Three or four and four or four. Two more. Thought that looked like one. Let's scan this one and then we'll have a look at that. Uh, module to the left of me one of four so we'll have a look around this module no oh, no it's at the back there there it is the good old uh, ships Scanner there, letting me know where it was. Right. Reverse away from the ship and play these data logs. Shame you can't dock with these and uh, board them. Imagine you docked with it <coughs> and you went inside and had a look around inside and you ended up playing a game like Doom. <laughs> On this ship, uh, this ship turning doom, or uh, or something of that sort of genre, that'll be quite uh, quite fun. Right, let's listen to the logs. We've suffered a critical failure. It came out of nowhere. I thought we'd hit something, just a huge bang, and then. All hell broke loose. System alarms firing off everywhere. All drives are offline. Repair attempts are ongoing, but with no success. Evidence points to one of the cooling systems exploding on a routine cycle. It sent pieces flying through the propulsion system, shredding it, chains of explosions, and... Well, the long and the short of it is the ship's a dead stick. We're drifting. No engine. No means of altering course. I guess we're lucky the power plant didn't go up or we wouldn't be alive to make reports. And yet another generation ship meets with unlucky circumstances. After weeks of repairs, we have to accept it. 
the Lazarus is not going anywhere. So we have two choices open to us. We can stay on board, floating aimlessly in space. There are enough renewable resources for generations, but it's not an infinite supply. The Lazarus wasn't a top-of-the-line ship. There was only enough capital to get the basic ship built and stocked up for the intended travel time. We added some contingency, but that will only give us, say, another ten years. So maybe it'll be our great-grandkids that'll have to deal with the problem. I don't like that idea. I couldn't bear with it being another generation's problem to solve while we use up all the resources. So that leaves option number two. We harvest the ship and build as many usable lifeboats as we can. This thing was designed to be dismantled to make our settlements when we reached our destination. Once we have all we need from the ship, we should be able to reach a planet as long as it's not too far away. We've done some scans, and there are habitable worlds in the region that we can aim for. It'll take months, maybe years, but I think it's the best option. After all, we have the time, and giving people hope is a powerful tool. So once again, how long has the ship been drifting for? Uh, and how far back in the systems uh, did they launch the lifeboats? As the life ships near completion, I find I'm sleeping less and less. I tell myself that it's nerves or excitement to all we've achieved. But those are just the lies I tell myself to keep going. The real reason I can't sleep is that I know what's to come. Even with the rules in place, we've seen population growth. Unlicensed births are increasing as people see the light at the end of the tunnel. A new hope was powerful, but I forgot it can also blind you to the truth. With our current population, we don't have enough space on the life ships for everyone on board. So once again, I have choices to make. It won't be popular, these things never are, but it will be fair. There is an old Earth maritime tradition of women and children being evacuated first. We will hold to that. We'll try to keep families together. From those that remain, volunteers will be requested. I can only hope that covers the deficit. Otherwise, it'll be a lottery for the final places. Nice. The last of the life ships has launched. Each has a destination well within their calculated range. We thought it best to have multiple destinations, not putting all our eggs in one basket, so to speak. All we can do for them now is hope. Hope that they make it. Hope that the planets they land on are hospitable. Hope that they thrive and grow. For us that remained on board, there is no more hope. We go about our existence with the knowledge that we are destined to die, but that we do so, so that others could live. In the end, we all volunteered for this. That's the thing about the human spirit. We fight over the smallest things, but when it really hits the fan, people step up. This is our last log. I won't document our demise. This is not our story anymore. It belongs to those out there heading towards a new life. It's a story of hope, triumph over adversity, and how we came together as a community to give them a chance out here. This is the Lazarus Expedition. Signing off. So, that's the last of the currently located generation ships uh what can you say uh i think there was only two that have uh well there's more than two but there's only two that seems to have been successful in their sort of mission all the rest have met some untimely end in fact there might only be one but uh yeah 
Oh, what can you do? Uh, so there's plenty of more uh, generation ships out there to be found. I just wish we had some more hints on possible locations and where they could be found. But uh, there's plenty of people out there exploring the the deep black of the uh, universe. So, uh, yeah, I dare say there'll be more found in the coming weeks, months, years. Uh, certainly a lot of them to find. So, with that, uh, I've been Andy Gamer Muzza. This has been Elite Dangerous. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, leave any comments underneath. And uh, please subscribe to the channel by hitting the logo in the top left corner. And if you want to see the other videos in the Elite Dangerous playlist, hit the logo in the top right corner. Thanks for watching, folks. Tidy bye.